Welcome, welcome. This is review time with Imperial. This is the review for the Purge TV series, episode four. Let's get into it. Well, well, well. This this review is coming a bit late. Um, I was going back and forth deciding whether I was going to do it. I may stop. I don't know. It's kind of fading out. It's kind of doing what I thought it. I was afraid that it might happen because the the thing of the purge movies. It was one night. You was tuned in for an hour and uh, forty five minutes, almost two hours, hour and a half, something, whatever. However, the, the movies normally last. You was tuned in, then it was over. Then you said, "Hey, that was I could rock with that." Now you you got your four episodes in, and it's like it's dragging. Every you're breaking out everybody's storyline, and it's dragging. The killings look kind of cheesy because it's on TV. It it's starting to come off as gimmicky, so it's really starting to like. I don't hear people talking about it much anymore. So I know the buzz is is um doing dwindling down, and uh and, you know. So they did say it was a ten episode limited series. They just testing the waters to see if this is something that they can keep doing, but. 10 episodes based on one night, I don't know. It's too long. It is too cheesy. You got to have phenomenal writing. Uh, you can't get too graphic because it is on TV. But I don't know if you, it's, it can last. It can last. I watched the episode and I was just sitting there like, ah, man. Because they got to stretch this along. Too much dialogue. It's too much talking. But nevertheless, I just went on that little rant. Let's get in the episode. So you have uh, Miguel, who's still in search of his sister. After he uh, didn't find his sister, he went back to the bar where the cop that was holding that as a safe, as a safe haven that was well connected. He went back there and said, hey, he couldn't find his sister. He needs some more help. Pretty much the dude was like, he knows somebody that um, could further help him. He like, look, man, I don't got nothing else stuff to get you. So the cop pretty much was like, I think you're a good guy, pretty much. I'm going to look you out. So he gave, he called somebody on the phone. Dude showed up. Looked like a cowboy, uh, southerner hunter. So he um, shows up. He pretty much gave him something, pretty much telling him, hey, um, give him this and he'll take you or whatever. So on their travels to wherever, they're just having conversation and they get stopped by a group of people and the fact that the group of people that stopped them, they pretty much are out to kill only rich people. So when they figure that they're not rich or whatever, they just let them pass. So they're having conversation, dialogue, and he hears something in the back of the car and pretty much the dude just try to blow it off at first, but whatever he has back there is making a lot of noise. So he finally realized, hey, man, you're a collector. Like, basically, I, I guess he took it like you collect people for whatever he's doing. So he looking crazy in his head like, whoa, who the heck did I get mixed up with? And did, it, did the cop at the thing set me up? Like, what's going on? So that's pretty much his storyline in the episode. You have uh, Jane. She is the exec who's been passed over time to time, not made a partner. And she's fed up, so of course she put a hit out on her boss for Purge Night. And when leaving off of episode three, her secretary who was in her laptop seeing what she did by setting her boss up and knew that the other guy was going to get the promotion instead of her, she killed the other guy that was going to get the promotion and pretty much told Jane, like, well, are you going to refer this to HR so I can get my promotion? Like, basically, it was him or me. I need the money for my life or whatever. So Jane just told her, like, you that was, uh, um, why would you do something like that? That's, you know, you just killed him pretty much. So from there, 
uh, Jane realizes that she can't live with herself, that she would have her boss killed. So she tried to call the person who she said to kill out her boss and that person not answered. So now she's sorting out to go, I guess, to the place where her boss lives at to um, stop it before it happened or whatever. So now in the process of her leaving the building, now she's on Persian night. Roman Street, she run into a crazy person. He pretty much uh, wants to kill her. He pins her down and he feeds her like some type of poison or something or whatever. And then this group of women pull up and pretty with guns and pretty much told him they'll blow him the smithereens if he uh, doesn't leave. And he looks at them, they hating on him. So they snatch her out and pretty much it's a group of women who train all year throughout the year for purge night and when purge night they become a safe haven for women who are being attacked and who can't defend themselves so i guess in a sense all right cool so nevertheless she's telling them like she giving them a bogus story like she pretty much her car broke down which is bogus and she's trying to get to a friend or whatever so she's not telling them, of course not the full story that she's really out here she was trying to purge and kill her boss and stuff like that so in the process of them trying to drop her off where she was trying to get to, they get a call in of somebody that needs help. So she like, no, I need to get to my people. And they like, nah, it's pretty much on the way. So that's pretty much her storyline. It moves to the uh, the couple who had the threesome with the rich um, girl. Now she's highly in love with the wife, told the wife pretty much from last episode that she will take care of the baby. She really wants to get rid of the husband or whatever. And it really doesn't say how they did her dirty in the end. But I guess that's going to be shown in the next couple episodes. So it was some turmoil that happened after they had a threesome. Because the wife kept going, having a relationship with the girl without the husband. And that was creating a problem. So eventually she let that girl go. But they don't really say what happened. Something happened or whatever. So nevertheless... The party is taking off and things are about to go down. So there is a a waiter, not a waiter, a maid or something in there. She was conversating with the wife. She pretty much telling the wife, yo, you need to get out of here. There's some stuff that's going to go down or whatever. And so the wife is not really taking heed. The wife and the husband got split up. The rich girl, she dipped off pretty much because she probably know it was going to go down or whatever. And so you don't know if the maid is really trying to look out or the maid is part of the situation. But she did warn her and say, yo, you need to get out of here. So I guess the party Gary turned up where everybody Gary started killing with that. And uh, then there was a, a character where he was. He was killing people and. He was looking for some guy on a on, on a microphone and um, that was t talking about the purge and all that. He finally found him, but he was dead. So his character name is Joe. His his real uh, he played as Beecher back. People who are familiar with the the show on HBO called The Wire. He played as Beecher. So um, that's his character. Then it goes back to the scene where the girl who got snatched by the group of um, People who she was taken to this like they call it like a carnival where they auction off people to get killed. It takes her there and somebody auctioned her off. And so, like I said, in a nutshell, just another this is like a feeder episode just to try to get to 10. No real true action, just a lot of dialogue and um. If, if I never do another purge uh, video after this, just know it just fell off and I didn't feel it was, it was worth it because this is, has been a fail. The purge is not meant for a TV series. It's meant for a good movie and that's it. If I never make another video or, you know what I'm saying, if I just feel led, I might just let a couple episodes go by and then come back and then say episode from this episode to this episode versus doing a week. I don't know. I might, I might switch it all the way up. And I'm, and next week, I might be right back with a new one. So who knows? Just uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, subscribe and like. Share the video. Um, make sure your notification button is on. Comment if you like. If you are into the show, 
comment, tell me what you think about the show. Am I off base or, you know what I'm saying, am I missing something? Let me know, you know. Till the next time, stay tuned.